what is up you guys it's Katya Volks welcome back to my channel and welcome to a pretty long awaited protein review I feel like gosh it's been forever since I've done my last protein review if you haven't seen my last video you would understand why and what I was going through the last like year and a half so I'm really happy to do this protein review because just a while ago Someone had sent me this protein to review, so it is kind of like a collaboration. I'm not paid to do this, but I was sent the protein for free to do a review, so I'm looking forward to it. By the way, I am testing out this little new mic so that hopefully I can do some more like filming and talking in the gym. So please let me know if the sound quality is off or weird I'll have to also test it out in the gym outside to see if it works well in distances and whatnot but anyways to get to the protein that we are trying today it is from a company called true nutrition and I believe they are based here in San Diego and from the looks of it they've got quite a number of flavors which sounds awesome the flavor they sent me is cookie butter, which I mean, cookie butter is probably like just it's a it's a pure gift from God. He just gave us, you know, cookie butter one day and we were like, thank you, God. Like the Israelites were not given manna. They were given manna and cookie butter, I swear. Anyways, um, on to just description of this. So we'll read it together just to look at what the blend is. So ingredient wise, this is a pea protein isolate, non-GMO, and then cookie butter flavoring, which is natural flavor, cinnamon powder, and sucralose. So my only con about this just off the bat is that it's just pea protein. It's not a blend of like pea protein and brown rice bro protein, meaning you're not gonna get the full amino profile as a vegan, especially as a vegan bodybuilder that you need to build protein. So it's not gonna be like the best replacement to, for example, a whey protein that a non-vegan would use. So I would say if the people who are created this are watching this for any chance that it is important to have a full blend of your aminos if you are going to sell this as your post workout protein powder otherwise this is a good protein powder just to add protein in general to your diet if you are vegan and you are lacking in the protein sphere but as your post-workout or pre-workout or even meal replacement protein, I wouldn't say it's the best. Just again, because it doesn't have your full amino profile that you need for full muscle recovery and growth. But I will say that the macros are pretty amazing. So for one scoop, which is about 35 grams, you've got 110 calories, one fat, one carb, and 25 grams of protein. That is the perk of a pea protein that they have amazing macros but again not enough aminos regardless of that sometimes there can be a little aftertaste to it so we will see that when we try this with just water alone if there will be an aftertaste to it so i'm going to go ahead and mix some up with just plain water and get back to you so that we can taste test this together all right, so I have it pretty darn well mixed up. There's a lot of foam at the top. I've always noticed that pea protein blends foam a lot when you mix it with water. I don't know how well you can see that. So it smelled good when I opened the bag. I didn't immediately get like a cookie butter smell, more of the pea protein. If you've had pea protein before, you would know that it has like a distinctive smell to it. It's not like off-putting, but it just has a smell in general so it kind of reminded me also of the sprouts brand protein powder because theirs is mainly pea protein based so you kind of get i don't know a certain aroma to it anyways but we are gonna go ahead and try this i noticed i had a little you see that you see that little bite that was my freaking hamster she got in the she got in this bag so if she's looking at extra buff then we know that she took some of my protein. Anyways, let's try this out. Hmm. 
Let's see. Oh, wow. That's really nice. Like, it's really subtle. I was honestly expecting it to taste kind of how it smelled, which, as I said, it had that pea protein smell, but it has none of that taste whatsoever. It's really light. It's really nice and it's really smooth. Like there's no grittiness at all. I know way back when pea proteins and vegan protein powders were first made, everyone would complain about the texture being really gritty, but this one is really smooth. I really like it. It's really subtle. Being though that it's such a subtle flavor, I wonder what adding it to like a smoothie or oatmeal will do. Like will it come through very much? But if you just drink your protein powder with water because you're having it just quickly post-workout, this is a really good flavor. I'll have to check the other flavors that they have online. And of course, I'm going to link down their website down below for you guys to go check them out. I don't think I have like a coupon code or anything I can offer you, but this is actually pretty darn good. Yeah. All right. I'm going to finish this up and then I'll catch you guys afterwards for my final take. All right, guys, to give my final thoughts on the true nutrition, if I were to rate this out of 10, I would give this a 7 out of 10. Being that said, it tasted great. It does have kind of a cookie butter taste. I wouldn't say it's like 100%, but then again, they only use like natural flavors in it. So it's super clean ingredients. But I couldn't give it like an 8, 9, or 10 because of the fact that it is only pea protein and not a blend of proteins to give you a full amino profile you need to build muscle. Now, that's not to say that you can't get it from your diet, but if you're looking for just a convenient way of getting a full dosage of protein that will give you your full amino profile, this won't necessarily give it to you. But if you have a well-rounded diet and you just need an extra boost of protein in general, this would be a good way to go to get that for yourself. So I just double checked the price that this protein powder goes for and it is $14.50 a pound and this bag is 1.1 pounds. So honestly, that's a really great value. I was almost like thinking this was going to be some kind of brand that wants to make their name big and look all big and fancy and sell it for like $30 to $40, but that's a really great value. So if you are on a budget and like I said, you already have a well-rounded vegan diet, or even if you're non-vegan and um, you just can't have dairy, this is a pretty good alternative. So again, it's one of those things that I can't say I don't recommend, but then I can't say I absolutely recommend you go buying this. I'd say it's a give or take, and you can buy it at your discretion. You can take my words with a grain of salt if you want, However, being vegan for nearly eight years, I mean, and continuing to build muscle as a bodybuilder, you can take my word if you want. So it's up to you. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please do give me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Let me know if there's anything else you guys would like for me to try in the near future. Do you want me to try more protein powders? pre-workouts, other kind of supplements, please let me know and I'd be happy to do so. Otherwise, I will catch you in the near future for the next video. Bye.